Hughes here. To Burke. The shot from Burke is just past the post. Good effort, Graham Burke. Okay, was scrambling. Yeah, it's, it's the drive. I think it's for Uja driving inside, and then they have to commit to him. They probably overcommit actually and, and leave Bork free. You see, Deegan comes across and he's asking Adebayega to get out to him. I don't think he can. I don't think Adebayega can leave that area. O'Neill for Tao. Oh, it's a lovely ball from Richie Tao to Ferrugia. Couldn't get the strength into the shot. Gaffney is there. Oh, good save by the keeper. It's a brilliant recovery. I think it's McNally on the line that clears it as well. The first save, palms are out. And it looks like, for all, like Gaffney just has the simplest of tap-ins, but the ball goes behind him a little bit. But really good play. McNally just switches off a little bit on the ball on the inside of him. Ferrugia makes times he's run perfectly. And he, the ball's under his feet a bit. We'll see it on the replay here. I'm going. I'm just getting a bit ahead of myself. Great ball from Powell. McNally does well originally because the ball's under his feet here from Ferrugia. And it's a good save. And then Adebayega does well to just sort of cause a nuisance. And McNally recovers and gets back round. And it's a really good clearance from him after his initial mistake to allow Ferrugia in. It's brilliant defender from Grace and Lopez there. Lopez knows he's going to gamble in front, but Grace goes well all cover behind you, and it frees up. Jack Byrne for Towel. Now Grant Burke in the area. Good block from Keeley. Really good yeah, defending from Keeley. That's the one I'm talking about. Look where the two midfielders are. Like, Deegan and Brennan aren't even in the box, and Burke is pulling the trigger on it. So that's one. They get down the side, and then the cutback's on. You see it. They're exposing the two centre-backs. They want the press, but if you're going to press like that, you've got to get back round and cover in. They're not even yes, in the box. Jack Byrne scooped forward for Clark, who's onside this time. And it's flicked over, and the goalkeeper just about scooping it away for a corner. He times his run a lot better here. I was critical of him, maybe not timing it. This time he times his run, and Jack produces a lovely true ball. Like you said, that little scoop over the top. He just doesn't come down from, though. You can see the touch doesn't come down a step. Well, it does, but you just can't get it a shot away. In the area. Still has it. Rory Gaffney to Jack Byrne. The shot. Oh, saved by McCabe. Down at his near post. Yeah, again, they're just down the side. This time it's Gaffney that comes out. I think they're wondering if there's an offside, but he's not. And that cut back there. This time they do get bodies in the way, but none of them get the block on it. Perugia outside. Gaffney. Well played by Gaffney. And the cross towards the back post. Clark with the header. Oh, it's off the line. Oh, That's they left it for each other. And Ryan Brennan with a goal saving clearance yeah, off it, the line. It's not a it's not a in like it's not a powerful header from Clark, but it just squirms through. You see the, the it's a flow across, he just heads it back across. Adebayega just steps away from it, expecting McCabe to grab it, and he doesn't. Here come Rovers again. Ball into the area. It struck the arm of Rory Gaffney. It's going to be a free out. Yeah, he got away with one there. It was a Brennan back on the line that cleared it. Burke switches it to the far side. To Byrne. Gaffney just crowded out of it. There were enough players back. And one here for Draper to chase now. Sean Hoare is the defender. It's a really good ball actually from Keeley because he sees him. Shot from Draper and he's found the net. Draw to take the lead just before half time. He's been feeding off scraps throughout this first half, but Freddie Draper, the player who's on loan from Lincoln, with a clinical finish. What a finish, Con. This is unbelievable. It's a good pick out from Keeley because he hits an area where he knows the striker is. He gets a run on Hoare. This is where you'd never let the centre forward back inside the pitch because it opens up the other side of the goal. And you see it here. It's a really good pick out. Again, willingness to run. He's on to it. It's a good race between Hoare. He puts his shoulder in and then he chops him. And it catches Hoare out a little bit. But that's an unbelievable finish into the side netting off his left foot. Brilliant goal from Draper. Jeff Byrne has a look up to see what's available. Everybody's a bit static in front of him. Here's Johnny Kenny now. It was easy for Drogheda to defend. Markey, Deegan, 
A lovely little pass there from Deegan to find the run of Heaney. That's a great ball. Early cross as well. And Dale Rooney, what control. It's 2 0. What a goal from Draw to United. From one end of the pitch to the other. Beautiful ball in from Heaney. Great first touch from Dale Rooney. And a clinical finish to put Draw to 2 0 ahead at Tala Stadium. I tell you what, full credit to them because it's a really well worked goal from Drotter's point of view. They've made them extra passes in midfield, we said, that allowed them to get bodies up the pitch. They worked it really well down the right hand side. And as soon as he hit this cross, I thought it's a wonderful ball. Really pinpoint accuracy on the cross from Heaney. He wraps it around the, the front of three defenders from Shamrock Rovers. And that's a great take. That's a great take on the run. The only good piece of news for Shamrock Rovers is they still have a half an hour plus stoppage time to try and get themselves back into this game. Have already lost at home this season to Derry City, of course. Jack Byrne again sliding a wonderful ball in behind, and there's Tell. The shot is over the top. Is that position, Greg. That's the one, and if he gets his knee over it, and the form he's in, obviously the two goals he scores through the night, and all one from a penalty, but this time it's a late run. It's a, a Jack is just probing and waiting. You can see he's pointing at it. Dale Rooney just switches off. It's a good pick out, really good pick out from uh, Ferruja, but you're grimacing because you probably think Dale should do better. Ferruja with a right footed cross towards the back post. Clark coming in. Gaffney keeps it alive. And the shot is just over the top. The goalkeeper got a fingertip to that, I think. Yeah, Gaffney, it's Gaffney for me that does really well to get the header back across. Because I don't, I think Clark originally jumped for the header. And then it spills out, and Gaffney just helps it back in. You see Clark here jumping at the back post, but this is a great header from Gaffney. Just flip, like the power to get it back in, just into an area. And Bork comes onto it, but he can't get his knee over it. Jack Burns corner, and the shot from Clark is blocked away. It's gone for another corner. That's a lovely ball from Jack Burns. Ferruja had to stretch to bring it under control. He has it now. Taking on Rooney, just drifting past him. Here's Tell, real chance, and Gaffney forces the ball to the net. Shamrock Rovers have a goal back on 79 minutes. Rory Gaffney makes it 2-1, and Rovers are back in the game. Yeah, and they, they, they probably do get a little bit of luck in terms of the, the final finish on this, but it's that early again, it's a cutback from Ferruja. Rooney just gets across, but he just runs out of legs a little bit in the final. 1v1, Ferruja, it's a great pick out, but Brennan just swings on it, he reads it well, and then the keeper's about to save it, but McNally is the one that takes it out of the keeper's hands. Jack Byrne, carries it forward, Jack. A shot from a long way out, oh, McKay got a hand to that. Can be a corner. Yeah, he just takes it on himself, Jack. It's like he just got annoyed and drove through a gap and decides to hit one. Probably wouldn't have, not the cleanest the strikes from him. He just hits it into the ground. But just a matter of seconds to go. They've managed to wind the clock down here at Draw the United. And it's at the discretion of the referee now. And there it is, the full-time whistle blows, and Draw the United have won by two goals to one at Tala Stadium. Freddie Draper and Dale Rooney. The scorers for Drogheda, Rory Gaffney did pull one back for Shamrock Rovers on 79 minutes and you felt maybe the Hoops might be able to rescue something from it. But a crowd of over 5,000 have seen Drogheda come and end a seven-match run without a win. What a bonus three points this is for Drogheda United.